everybody, this is your reading for Tuesday the 25th of August. Let's have a look at what's coming up for you today. Okay, we've got three cards in reverse. First card is the Knight of Chalices. Sorry, I'm just laughing because I mean I know it's it's um, it's supposed to be very fantastical, but basically we've got a naked guy with a giant snake coming out from between his two legs. Okay, so the Knight of Chalices, what's that about? The knights are always extreme. Okay, so it's it's too much affection, too much romance, too hysterical, almost. Okay. If you think of the Knight of Chalices, it's Romeo, you know. Oh, she's not here, I'm going to drink poison and kill myself. It's just over the top, it's too much, it's OTT. It's in reverse, indicates that your feelings are in a good place. You are loving, you are um, open-hearted, but you're not freaking out about it, okay? You're not all over the place. You have stability in your life. The next card is the Six of Swords in reverse. So, the light at the end of the tunnel isn't quite there yet. But you can handle the situation. You don't need to just go off the deep end and, and, and really lose it. You can continue steadily and make progress. And then finally, we've got the King of Chalices. And the King of Chalices is the knight who's matured a little bit. He's got his little friend there, the crab, giving him advice. And the King of Chalices is someone who's been there and done it. He's overcome difficulties and he's managed to keep his heart open. And he's in a stable place in his in his um, emotional life okay that's in reverse too so you're not at the end of it you haven't quite got to the end goal but you will get there so really this is about keeping the faith this is about just putting your left foot in front of the right foot doing the next right thing in your life that you can do and not expecting everything to be resolved on this day this applies to the feeling that I get is uh, work it's travel and moving, it's um, practical circumstances that could create a lot of emotional upheaval within you. And all you have to do is show up and be present and be there for the process and I promise you, you'll get through it. Because all three are in reverse, I just want to have a look at them this way and see how that looks. So we've got emotional balance and peace will take you to where you want to go. And that could end up in a bit of extremism emotionally, okay? So it's a good thing that you are where you are because you're not going to end up being emotionally extreme. All you're doing is keeping the faith and going where you want to go. And you'll have a positive outcome. And you can handle what comes your way. I think that's really the message of the cards today. That regardless of what's going on, don't look at the end product. Don't look at, oh, you know, am I done yet? Just kind of keep going, keep keep engaging with the process and you'll get through it one and six is seven eight and eight is power you have the power to do this there's a great book that's actually coming to mind as i'm doing this reading it's called feel the fear and do it anyway by the late great susan jeffers and i've recommended it before but it's really a fabulous book because it teaches you that you don't wait for the fear to go away and then you do something you do something and then the fear goes away Okay, and that's the kind of process you're in. You're doing it already. The fear, the worry, the emotional upset will go away and all you have to do is keep showing up. If you'd like a private reading with me about your relationships or your work or a boyfriend or a girlfriend that you're not sure about what's happening there, then please get in touch via my website for a personal reading. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab. Please remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm using the Radiant Rider Weight deck for this reading. Let's see what's coming up. Okay, well.